Okay, so today we're going to use a program called Auto Ingenuity to quickly diagnose if your Vano seals on your E46 are uh, going bad. Um, but honestly, at this point, I haven't met an E46 that doesn't need any Vano seals. So if you're experiencing uh, sluggish takeoffs and lack of power, I would go ahead and do them if everything else looks good and you don't have any check engine lights or anything like that. But uh, I'll show you how to use this program. Uh, or how I use this program um, to determine whether or not you need to do these seals. F2, BMW, this is a 2000, 323, gasoline. Cool thing about auto ingenuity for BMWs at least is that it comes with a special tool to do um, the Pac-Man connector under the hood. If you're not interested in any of that, we're gonna come here to Live Data Meter. We're gonna pull up Vanos exhaust target position. And then we're gonna put up Vanos intake target position. And then we're gonna put exhaust actual position and intake actual position. So these numbers here are the what the ECU wants to run the exhaust and the intake camshaft at, and these are the actual values. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car, and then um, we will raise the RPMs so that we can try to see a variance in those numbers. Um, on engine RPM. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start the car. <laughs> you can already see the the exhaust side wandering quite a bit and the intake side as well. Then when we increase engine RPMs. It does seem to respond, but getting some pretty wild numbers from that side. And it is pretty cold outside, so you'd expect the oil to be a little bit thicker. And it's pretty cold out today, but I have done this a couple times on a little bit warmer days, and uh, the variance was a lot larger than that so i'm sure if we let this engine warm up that we'd start to see more of a variance but um it's pretty late and i don't want to be revving this thing up around all my neighbors so i'm gonna cut it off here but that's that's pretty much what i use to see if it uh needs vano seals but like i said earlier honestly at uh this point in time pretty much every u46 i've worked on has had a uh, oil leaking in the Vano seals. So I use Bison Solutions. I think that's how you say it. Uh, their rebuild kit. And uh, we'll go ahead and make another video on uh, how to do that rebuild. So stay tuned.